Hi, Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. I enjoy turning inside out objects, whether they be ornaments or vases or whatever. Recently, I did this four stave inside out, which turned out quite nice. Uh, and then I did a three stave inside out. And then one of you challenged me to do a two stave inside out, and actually with a twist, challenged me to do a heart with more of a heart shape, which has a, uh, a bit of relief here to get the upper lobe of the heart. So uh, I love a good challenge, and uh, this turned out to be challenging. So let's turn this two-stave inside-out heart. This wood is poplar. I've cut two pieces about two inches wide, thinking that when they are put together it will be approximately square. I put some medium CA glue in dots over the joint and let it harden. I did not wrap this with the strapping tape. I've sketched a heart on the blank and drawn key lines around each side so I can see them while it is rotating. I have to resist the urge to rough round the blank since that is what I have to do normally. For this, I only need to hollow in the middle and leave the corners. It is time for a sharp gouge and careful positioning when starting a cut. Cutting through the corners messes with my normal cut feel. At the corner I cut deeper, then when I hit solid wood the cut slows down. I have to counter this tendency. Undercutting the top of the heart is yet a different matter. I'm starting with a gouge but often using it as a scraper. I keep trying with the small gouge until I get a catch. The brittle CA glue gives way. Since there are only two pieces, they fall down. Oh no, do I need to start over? In the end, I was able to align the wood again, but this time drove screws from both sides into the other piece near the end. Since this is a two-stave piece, this works out great. Back at the lathe, I keep at the undercut with my small gouge, but switching over to a round nose scraper. It is a little undercut. Let's see how it turns out. After sanding the inner turning, I'm applying shellac friction polish to preserve the inside. It may or may not be the final finish. Then remove the screws and glue the pieces back together again, but flipped around. The screw holes are no problem. They are well away from the good wood. I use glue sparingly to minimize the squeeze out. I'm clamping it up and letting it dry overnight. Next I've mounted the bundle with the bottom of the heart toward the tailstock on centers. Since I'm right-handed, it is easier for me to cut the tenon from right to left. Then reverse the bundle into a chuck. Now I can get serious about shaping this heart. As usual for an inside-out turning, I have to go easy while cutting so much air to not cut too deeply. A high speed helps. As the shape develops, there is a piece 90 degrees off from the staves that is bothering me. This bump on both sides does not seem to be long. Time out before it gets too fragile to drill a mounting hole in the top. Back for final shaping. My skew did not work very well. A bowl gouge for shear scraping does much better.
then some coarse sanding. I've decided to saw off the bumps on the front and the back at the bandsaw. For safety, I leave the wood in the chuck, but mount it to a saw jig. Despite going very slow, the pressure is too much, and the heart breaks at the short grain. I decide to keep going, medium CA glue to the rescue. It was a clean break on both sides. I can probably get them to align very well. Since I did not get the bumps cut off, I'm grinding them off with my right angle tool with a rasp bit. It goes quickly. Then on to a lot of sanding. Then cut off the heart with a saw. I'm not going to risk a parting cut here. Then more sanding with a pad and a drill chuck mounted to the lathe. Next, spray the heart with rattle can lacquer to seal the wood for acrylic paint. For a center ornament, I am turning a small finial from some standing dead plum my sister-in-law brought me. I'll rough it and quickly turn a mounting tenon. Then reverse it for the serious work. After reducing the diameter with my bowl gouge, it is time for real work with my skew. It cannot be very big, so I have to keep it simple and small. Unfortunately, I snapped it off the waste wood before I could finish sanding and apply finish. Fortunately, no more cutting will be needed. I can mount it to the long neck jaws directly to finish sanding and apply finish. Then some protective masking tape so that I can reverse the finial to clean up the scar from the snapped wood. Sand it, finish it, and drill it. The last thing before assembly is to spray some lacquer to shine up the acrylic. The small heart is a two-stave project to complement my previous three-stave and four-stave projects. Each technique has its place in my wood turning repertoire. However, if I had to pick just one, it would be the three stave. The hardest part of this two stave project is to undercut while doing the inner turning. The plus for two stave is that it has the widest opening into the inside. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my website, tell your friends and send me your comments and questions. Every week I make a new wood turning video. Please wear your full face shield anytime that lathe is running. Until next week's video, this is Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns. <laughs>